Andrew Wiggins hasn't played a basketball game since February 13th of 2023. And I want to talk about this whole situation, not in the sense of speculation about why he's missed time, because it has been stated he is out with personal reasons. I'm not here to speculate about any of it. I'm not going to run with any baseless claims like I have seen on Twitter. And I'm not even making this video to talk about Wiggins in particular in terms of what my problem with this situation is. Because Wiggins taking time away from the team for personal reasons is not the problem. The problem is the reaction from everyone else that isn't directly involved with this situation. And yes, this video will be in a very similar style to what I did with the Ben Simmons video where I'm just kind of talking and saying what I want to say about the topic instead of going off a script like I do with my usual videos. Usual videos like the breakdowns and the scouting reports, those aren't going away either. But I just felt like with this video in particular, it was better if I did it this way. The main issue with the Andrew Wiggins situation to me is the media and fans feeling entitled to knowing what is going on with Andrew Wiggins and why he's out with personal reasons. And I don't know how else to say this, but personal reasons for being out are personal reasons for a reason. They are personal. They are not public reasons for a player being out. And to act like you are entitled to know the personal reason why Andrew Wiggins has missed this much time is very much selfish. I think it's very much entitlement that people think they have that they don't. And also, I think it's wrong to speculate about why Andrew Wiggins is missing time with personal reasons. It has led to a lot of baseless claims on the internet that people seem to have run with. That's a problem in and of itself, and that's a problem that speaks more than just basketball. That's just an internet problem in general, where people just run with baseless claims and it has happened in Wiggins case and it happens with a lot of cases that aren't related to basketball either. And that's again a societal problem, not just a basketball problem, but it is prevalent to the Andrew Wiggins situation because it has been a thing that happened on Twitter. And Andrew Wiggins' girlfriend had to come out and basically say that it was ridiculous to come up with a claim like that based off of literally nothing. Like there's no claim that really made sense and was based off anything in this regard but again i don't think i need to explain to you guys why it's wrong to run with baseless claims especially when those baseless claims are insinuating things about someone's personal life or their mental health uh, but you know i guess i do because it did happen and it's grown men that are doing this on the internet so there's that and also with the media they're acting like they are entitled to know what's going on to Andrew Wiggins and also they're acting like Wiggins just disappeared and didn't tell anyone and that's why he hasn't played in over a month when that isn't the case Wiggins disclosed why he need to be away from the team for a very long time to his employer. He told the people he needed to tell, and that the Golden State Warriors, the coaches, the front office, maybe players, I don't know, but he disclosed to the organization that employs him that he needs time away from the team, and the Warriors have accepted that and have allowed him to take time away from the team. Those are the only people that need to know what is going on with Andrew Wiggins. Not the media, not the fans, not someone on Twitter. Only the team needs to know. I'll put it this way. You know, you go to a restaurant and the cook, he's out for like a week. 
the restaurant won't tell you that the cook is out for a week, or the cook is out for this reason or that reason, because the cook only has to disclose that information of why they're out for a week to the employer, and it's not up to the employer to tell the people. Like it's really that simple. And if you're gonna say, "Well, it's different. Being a cook at a restaurant and being an NBA player are different." Yes, they are different jobs. That doesn't change a person's right to privacy in their personal life and needing time away in their personal life to handle things. That changes nothing, and I don't think it's a good reason to act like he should disclose why he's leaving the team and missing time and what's going on in his personal life to the public. It's not a reason, and I feel like. The media feels like they're entitled to it, and they act like it's a right. And I think fans, to an extent, act like it's a right as well. And I think the reason why fans and the media feel they're entitled to knowing information, like why Andrew Wiggins has missed a month with basketball with personal reasons, is because of the way basketball is covered, and to an extent, how sports are covered in general. Because we have all of these insiders that are constantly giving the public information. And they have connections with agents and teams that want certain things leaked. I think that has led to fans and media believing that everything should be open when that's not the case. Just because agents and teams want certain things leaked doesn't mean they want everything leaked. And I think that the fact that we get a glimpse of what teams and what agents and players are thinking. Through these quote-unquote leaks, I think it's led to people believing that they want everything now, and they are entitled to everything when that's not the case. When things get quote-unquote leaked by agents, teams, players, that's because they're talking to insiders and they want that information to get out for one reason or another, and it's up to a player to be open about things that they tell insiders. Or they say in interviews, and if they feel comfortable doing it, they can do it. If they don't feel comfortable doing it, they don't have to do it. It's not like they're required to say things about their personal life that they don't want to. They don't have to disclose that information. But I feel like the glimpse that people get from these quote-unquote leaks from insiders is a big reason why. Fans feel they're entitled to it, and they view it as a right. When at the end of the day, our rights as NBA fans are very simple. Our rights as NBA fans is to watch and enjoy basketball, and in turn, do things that relate to basketball, like making content on YouTube if you want to, writing articles if you want to, starting a podcast if you want to, streaming games if you want to. Or just watching games in general and not doing any of that and just enjoying the game for what it is. Those are our rights. It's not our right to know personal information about NBA players. And I don't want to hear, oh, I paid this much for a league pass or I paid this much or that much for a ticket. That doesn't make you entitled to it. You don't pay that money to know players' personal information. You pay that money to watch and enjoy the basketball games, which, by the way, fix the league pass. But that's besides the point. It's not our right to know. We aren't entitled to know why a player is missing time for personal reasons. If it's for an injury, we'll probably hear about it. We hear about it all the time. There's literally reports that teams release about players that are missing time with injuries. And when it comes to personal reasons, they'll simply say personal reasons, because it's personal, not public. And if the player wants to make that information public, they can. If they don't, they also don't have to release that information because it's within their rights as basic human beings. Which goes back to the thing that I honestly think it's still a problem with the NBA and sports in general, where they just don't view these athletes as humans. They view them as entertainers, and they view them as just a source of something to watch, and don't view them as humans. When there's a very human element 
to why players miss time from the game in general, whether it be injuries, whether it be personal reasons, you know, things like that. And sometimes players just need rest every once in a while. I do think it's a slight problem in that players rest as much as they do, but it's not the major problem I think people really are making it out to be. So, at the end of the day, NBA fans are just entitled to watching and enjoying basketball games. And I think that really needs to be hammered in. And I think that, especially given the Wigan situation, it's a really good opportunity for people to learn that they aren't entitled to anything involving that situation besides knowing that he's going to miss a lot of time. Like, they aren't entitled to him having to disclose that information to the public. He only has to disclose that information to his employer at the end of the day. And that is all you really need to know. At the end of the day, Wiggins doesn't have to disclose this information to anyone but the Golden State Warriors. And he doesn't have to tell the public about it. And it's within his right to not tell the public that. And as NBA fans, we are entitled to this. And the same thing goes with NBA media. NBA media is not entitled to know everything about a player's personal life or why they're missing time for a personal reason. It's not something any of us are entitled to, whether we have a media badge or not. And I honestly think that we need to focus more on viewing athletes as humans and also just letting people go through what they need to no matter how long it takes because it's very clear that personal reasons and personal things going on in people's lives are more important than basketball and no matter how much money they make that doesn't change the fact that they are entitled to having the right to just deal with these personal reasons and take time away if they need to.